Because this is a technique that works really well. This is a great natural technique for when you've got someone with um, naturally curly hair or wavy hair that you just want to get some nice loose movement into. You don't want to have to blow dry it and smooth it. And she wants to keep her natural curls. So what, we, what I've done here, I shampooed the hair, first of all, um, cleansing the hair. And using, where is it? I've used a combination of two products here, which I love for curly hair. Motion Lotion, which I've already used as a finishing product, so now I can also use it as a um, curl enhancing product. And Easy Rider. Easy Rider is for thicker, coarser hair. It's great for curl enhancement. So, as you know, clients who've got that really curly hair, who can't find a product to suit their hair. They've probably never worn their hair a curly a day in their life because they can't find a product to give them soft curls and the flexibility. Because anyone with really curly hair will tell you, crispy crunch, right? Yes? With a lot of those curling products out there, you get more crisp than a piece of Kentucky Fried. So, Mo Easy Rider Emotion Lotion, cocktailed or laid onto the hair together, will give you soft, natural volume to the curls. So, I've already added them into the hair, and what I did was I just uh, used my fingers and I pinched. Oh my God, that's a perfect picture! Look at that. Literally, I started at the top, and all I did was just pinch the hair and slide clips into her hair. There you go. And so I'm going to get you to give me a hand taking these out, or if you can come and just take the clips as I pull them out. And what I did was I've simply gone right through the head and just clipped the hair into place. So really easy, applying just some product and sliding these clips in. So literally just pinching the hair and sliding a clip into it to hold. Now, the big trick on this too was the fact that, as you saw, I used that lovely hairnet, whatever happened to that, the hairnet is the bomb because the hairnet acts as a diffuser to the hair. So as you know, you know when you use a diffuser, the hair actually goes frizzy. I actually never use it. I hate a diffuser because it just, even when you're natural drying, it just, it goes frizzy. So what I do instead is apply some product and then just use the hairnet. The hairnet acts as your diffuser, then you just use your blow dryer and you just dry the hair off. Really simple really easy, and the hairnet keeps all the hair together and stops you from getting any frizz. Really simple. Can we all see what's going on here? So you can see how I'm just pulling these clips out. What we did was we put them in, we put the hairnet on, and then we allowed the hair, well, we could have either allowed the hair to air dry if a client had the time, or we just used the blow dryer on low low high heat, and we just dried it. Literally, just put the hair dryer on it, um, and it took, five, it took about 10 minutes. She's got reasonably medium to thick hair, so it took about 10 minutes to dry. I have um, been asked many times, should I put her under the hood dryer? Now, personally, I, don't, I did try it out, actually, to find out if that actually did work, and it didn't, because it didn't get enough heat underneath to dry up underneath. So the blow dryer was the best way to do it. It didn't take that long, and I think, quite honestly, our clients like the fact that we stay with them, it's a little bit more service. They feel a little bit more comfortable rather than us going and putting them under the hood dryer while we go outside for a ciggy and she's sitting there with this, this heat thing on her head, which I, I, I don't think is really, it's not, it's not nice for your client. So I like to stay with my client, dry her hair off. Here we go. Taking these clips out. It's a nice, quick, easy way of getting some nice movement, natural movement. So this is really to enhance natural movement. I wouldn't work on straight hair. This is the kind of technique that you would use with someone who's got cur wavy, medium, uh, sort of even just soft, lightly wavy uh, to curly hair. It's a great technique just to enhance the curl. The other thing is that a lot of people with curly hair find that their hair doesn't get curly evenly all over or that they have troubles in getting it um, to lift off the top. Even though it's curly, it goes flat on top and they want the lift but they want to keep the curls but they can't find a product, it goes crispy. Anyway, they end up just blowing it straight. So what I'm going to do here is look at that already. All I'm going to do is get her to tilt her head back and shake that out. Look at that. I lo look at that. That's almost like slow motion camera. Look at that. I'm, what, I love whatever that camera's doing right now. My God, it's like porn. It's like, it's hair porn. It's amazing. 
here we go. And as you can see, look at that, soft. You can see that from here, the shine, no frizz. She actually said to me when I asked her what kind, how curly her hair was, she said, oh, it's, not, it's wavy. It's not very curly, it's just wavy. Um, we just, you can see it's soft, it's flexible. We've got lots of curl there. And when I turn her around, oh my God, you're going to be a bombshell. How's that for mermaid hair? Stand up for me. Stand up for me. Give me a little shake. I want to see some sexy mermaid hair. Here we go. There was a question. How did I put the clips in? Okay. I'll just get you to turn around for me. Actually, sit down and I'll just demonstrate how I put those clips in. I didn't pin curl it. There was no wrapping, no rolling. It was simply pinching and pinning. So uh, we've got those clips, and I'll show you exactly how I did this all over. So from wet, it was very simple. Here we go. Just starting at the top here, and I literally just... Of course, I, wanted, I, I watch where I want my curl to go. So I wanted to create a nice little lift, bit of lift there. So I go in, and I simply... Can you see? Just skewered the hair like that again. And then what I did was, obviously, if I've got like a bump, you can, you can see that I'm creating the bump there. So obviously, I'm going to want another bump there. Do you know what I mean? So I've just worked right through the head, just poking clips in until I went right through the head, all over, all the way down to the back, just lifting, pinning, just pinching the hair and sliding a clip in backwards to hold it, put the hairnet over to stop it from frizzing when I dry it, dry, take the hairnet off, and you've just seen the results. Shake it back. I'm just loving that. That is like, that is just, that's beautiful. It's soft, it's shiny, it's got great volume, and she looks really, really pretty. Wonderful. Thank you for coming.